This video is for the Norcold N3100 and N4100 series of refrigerators that have a three wire gas valve. This is the gas valve. This is the line that supplies the gas to the system. And this is the solenoid of the gas valve. This is a manual on off valve to turn off the gas if needed. This is a pressure test port right here. When the gas valve starts, you'll feel a click. And I felt this gas valve open because it clicked. Next, we'll measure the ohms of the valve and the voltage going to it. This is a schematic drawing of the gas valve and its wiring. On the right of the drawing, the wire connector is represented. Terminal 1 is the chassis ground. This is a green-yellow wire for this particular refrigerator. Terminal 2 is one of the inductor wires. Terminal 3 is the second inductor wire. The following measurements will reference these terminals. On the left of the drawing is the gas valve representation. On the Norcold, when you turn on the gas, on this particular refrigerator, it has low voltage to the gas valve. The gas valve only measures 1.3 volts across the inductor. But if you go over to your ground, you're going to see that you've got 4.5 volts at one of the inductor leads with respect to ground, and that you have 3 volts at the other inductor lead. Most gas valves will run off of 12 volts, so you'll measure 12 volts across the two leads. The gas valve has a wire going up to the controller and will undo the wire going to the controller. Inside the gas valve is an inductor, and there's three wires on this. One is a chassis ground, the other two are the leads going to the inductor, and to, to check the inductor, there's a fixed amount of resistance that the inductor has. This measures 53 ohms, which means that the inductor on this gas valve is good. 